Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are hopping into the Retro Mirror Cups with, of course, yet another character. It has been pretty intense through all of these Mirror Cups so far, but we have surpassed the halfway point with this one, so that'll be pretty cool. So, right over here, we'll be, of course, playing as pretty classic character here, one of my favorites in the roster, King Boo. Uh. And as you can see, we have a lot of different choices for him, but we're starting with the standard car L, and we'll see how things go from there. We'll do a manual, and uh, let's do Shell Cup right here with Peach Peach, Yoshi Falls, Ghost Valley 2, and Mario Raceway. All right, Peach Peach is our first track, nice and sunny, which I don't know if King Boo is used to. He's usually, you know, stalking around the dark haunted mansions and stuff like that. So it might be a little bit different for him. Of course, King Boo was a character in Mario Kart Double Dash, teamed up with Petey Piranha, who is unfortunately not in this game, but he wasn't in Mario Kart DS, so this is only his second Mario Kart appearance. I didn't really get a good drift there to start things off, but it's okay, we'll catch up. He is definitely a heavier weight character, so there's a lot to get through here, but we'll find a way through. This is a pretty fitting course, because this is a, uh, I think this is a game if you want, right? All right, let's get through here. Boom, get a good mushroom speed boost, but back on the grass, so that wasn't super useful. We're just trying to get through this however we can. Let's hang up behind some of these racers so we can maybe get the slipstream boost. I don't know if that quite worked. Oh my, whoa, dodging a lot of stuff there. I just get one extra mushroom, but that'll help me get past a lot of the competition and back at the first. Yeah, I think this was a GameCube course, so. Pretty fitting that we play, you know, a character that was first in that game. Yeah, hit dry Bowser with that, but unfortunately we get knocked out right after. Not good. We're flying all over the places. We enter our third lap here. This has definitely been a little slow going. I'm used to lightweight characters recently, so this is a little bit nerve wracking. Oh, I wanted that mushroom, thank you. I'm gonna hit some of you guys with red shells if I can. Okay, not you, I guess. Oh, into the banana. Not what I wanted, but I get another red shell, so if anybody else dares to pass me. Okay, that's not really how I meant that, but that's good for me. We get a couple of bananas. One, two, and three. Look at this, we get the win. It was definitely up for debate on how that was turning out for a little bit, but we find a way through to get the first place finish on our first cup of today. Pretty good stuff, 15 points coming in there, and we're moving to the next race. All right, so. Yoshi Falls is our next one. This one we can typically zoom through pretty fast, but with a heavier weight character, if we do get knocked back, it might be hard to catch up with the competition. That's the big challenge with this one. All right. Let's go for it. We're boosting through. So, I just wanna drift through this as much as I can until I get that red boost. Then, whoa, what do you think you're doing, Toad? That did not fly the way I thought it would. Okay. Big jump there, that was pretty good, but into the wall wasn't so good. In first place for now, we're already done the first lap. This track can be so, so fast. Come on, keep it going. I'll get this red shell out. Let's try to get farther and farther away from most of the other racers here. Whoa, didn't hit the wall this time, so that's at least good. As we hit the final straightaway for this lap, we're already heading into the third and final one. I might be able to hit somebody with that, doesn't seem like it for now. Ooh, got it. I might be able to get one more big drift. There it is, awesome. That was pretty good too. Ooh, really, really good. One more drift right here, come on, got it. Throw this back, hold out some items, throw those two, and boom, we win another one. Such a quick track there, got through that like it was nothing. And with it, 
as you can see, we get 30 points in total. Two more races for this cup, let's keep it going. So Ghost Valley 2 is our next track. Very fitting for our current character. This is a fun one. All right, so King Boo, you'd think he'd command all the other little boosts, just attack the other racers or something, but I guess when it all comes down to it, he doesn't mind playing fair. Got it. King Boo's is such a fun, unique character from Mario Kart 2, because it's typically just a boss fight that shows up in only some of the Mario Kart, or Mario games, not even all of them, you know? He's not a super common boss fight or anything. Whoa, 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 uh, that wasn't so good. Because he first really showed up in what? I guess Luigi's Mansion. And then we saw him, I think, in Mario Sunshine. He just isn't around a ton for, I guess, how prominent he is as a Mario Kart character now. It's pretty cool, because now he's also been in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, for sure. But I don't know if he's been added in Mario Kart 7. We'll find out eventually, of course, but... Oh, let's throw those out now, because... <laughs> I know I'm gonna get hit by that power block. Unfortunately, I saw all of the red shells totally fail on their mission. That was not so good, but we're in third place for right now as we head into the final lap already. That happened super duper quick. Definitely need to focus in for this last lap and see if I can't catch up. That red shell heading towards Rosalina. Ooh, free star, I missed it unfortunately. I was so close to getting it, somebody behind me got it. Ah, oh, there it goes. I was hoping I could throw the red shell out in time. Okay, this is not so good. Okay, dude, no, come on. You just had to throw that at me? We're in eighth place, I can snag a seventh, but ah, oh, if I didn't get hit by that one item, totally different turnout. I already had the golden mushroom. I probably could have caught back up, but man, I'm pretty sure that already immediately thwarts our opportunity to get a star or better. I don't know how to feel about that one. I'm gonna go for the next race regardless. I'm already gonna expect no star ranking, but we'll just have to play it again. Man, Mario Raceway is up next though. We'll see how this one goes. I feel like this game is the game where Mario Kart got its notoriousness for just being crazy, ridiculous, sort of luck based. <laughs> it just, it's definitely, we've, we've played all the, the Mario Kart games and this one just, I get that experience more than any of the other ones, if not all of the other ones combined, you know? It's just crazy how often items and crazy shenanigans just ruin you in this one. Okay, we got the, the big golden mushroom here, which I was gonna use for a nice quarter cut, corner cut, not quarter cut, um, and it almost worked out better than it did, but that's okay. We're still in the lead with it. Golden Mushroom is really, really nice on a track like this. Even with a bunch of bananas everywhere. Just gonna put that right there and see. You almost ran into it, that would've been great. So obviously right now my goal is just to get first place here. Even if I do, I, I mean, I think I'll win in terms of points. But like I said, I'll probably have to replay through it just for the star ranking. All right, here comes that red shell. But I'm just gonna keep drifting. I get another banana. And we're cruising. Big drift right there. And then over here, over here. Got it. Let's get some stuff on the floor, just like that. And we're heading into the last lap of this already. It's crazy how fast these tracks are. Oh, I get here, just a green shell. Got another turn coming in. So I'll probably yeah, just boost through like that and then work on getting the red boost here. That's no problem. Sometimes you just gotta settle with the blue boosts. You don't wanna go all the way for the red. Ooh, come on. Coming up on the last stretch here, I'm a little suspicious about it because we haven't been hit with many items at all. And there's no way that's gonna last, right? I don't know, maybe it will. It was very lax on this one. It felt bad after the last race, I guess. All right, we win. 
But the big question is, will we win in points? Yes, we will. 50 points in total is enough for us to get the full cup victory but it's not enough. We also need the star ranking, so after this next victory celebration, I guess we'll find out, did we get it, or will we have to do it again? The King Boo, what was it, Diddy Kong and Baby Peach? Yep, were our top three here. Pretty interesting, because I feel like a lot of the people we were really competing with didn't make the top three at all. Huh. Guess it shows that you know the points can get shaken up a lot, lots of different things can happen, but King Boo wins, he's sticking out his tongue. He seems pretty happy about it. All right, so let's see him on that victory podium. He's flipping around, he's he's having a great time. <laughs> he's like a little balloon. I like it. All right, so we got first place, but what's my ranking? A rank, yep, and A rank. So I'll have to do the whole thing again, unfortunately, but it only took me a couple of minutes, so hopefully it won't take me too long to do again. All right, so things won significantly better this time. I was able to get a win each time, and we get two stars. I think that might be our first two-star finish of Mirror Mode. Who knows, I don't know. But with that being said, that was really good. We still have one more cup ahead of us, so we're hopping straight back in with King Boo. I'm a little nervous for it. I'm sure it's not gonna be easy, but we'll try our best, right? So we got Mirror Mode and King Boo again, but this time, what cart do we wanna choose? Or bike, we have a lot of options. I think this time. I would like to choose, well, the Honey Coop looks so cool. But I also feel like we should try the Piranha Prowler. This is a big and heavy cart for sure, but it just makes sense. King Boo with his partner, PD Piranha in Double Dash. We gotta honor that one, right? So I'm gonna try this out. We'll have the manual drifting. We have Banana Cup with Sherbet Land, Shy Guy Beach, Delfino Square, and Waluigi Stadium. All right, Sherbert Land should be not so bad if we can get a handle on the ice drifting. Don't run into a bunch of penguins. I'm sure a cart combo, character combo like this might be a little bit difficult. It's gonna be really, really heavyweight, so we'll have to be very determined on the moves we make to make sure that they're good. Let's see for ourselves if that's gonna be the case. All right, whoa. You can already tell that it's a little, little wibbly wobbly around here. Put a, a fake item block right there. These turns are tough to make with a big cart like this. But I feel like out of all the courses we could have gotten to start this off with, this isn't so bad. We just gotta use whatever items we do get to catch up a little bit. And then drift into this cave. If I need to go wide for some of these, I, I that's okay, I think. But so far, we're sort of handling it. Baby Mario is in front of us. I'm just gonna focus on getting these drifts in, however and whenever I can. Got it, not too bad. Okay, luckily that penguin dived out of the way. Okay. Ready and jump. I didn't even need to, I was about to jump over that little crack. Get another question block at basically the same spot. That's okay, I'm just gonna go over this way. So far, we're keeping up quite well, not quite in first. I don't think that's gonna hit anybody, oh no. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything except for false question blocks, so I just didn't have much of a way to defend myself. It's all right, because we're still cruising back here. Ow, ooh, that's not so good. I'm gonna drift through this way then, got it. Yoshi, please scoot over. Thank you. We're gonna get bloopered here. I'm catching up the baby Mario a little bit more, and with that, I seal the lead. We're finishing up lap number two. Oh, watch it! Okay, I didn't get hit by the blue shell. It was all baby Mario. Unfortunately, though, I do get wiped out by the penguin, which I don't think is as detrimental to our time. It's still not the best situation. I got a couple of bananas here. Oh no, throw them all down, throw them all down. I don't think anybody hit them, but Baby Mario also got wiped up on my blue shell, so could have been a whole lot worse. Speaking of Baby Mario, gonna hit him with a red shell too. Really giving him a hard time. Ah, come on, the cross section of the penguins. Not working out too well for me. We're back into fifth. So if I could just boost through here, dodge penguins where I can. Ah, never mind, I guess, come on. 
Pingu, I really need you to move. I think it might be a little too late at this point. This is looking like disaster striking. I just got really bad luck. Really bad luck? Because I couldn't maneuver it up to get an item? Uh, yep, we gotta restart this one. There's no way that's gonna work out. We're coming up on the end. I'm not super confident that things are gonna go well, but I am currently in the lead. At this point, I have given up hope and just like the concept that there being like an assured situation. Any At any moment, a million items can just come and smack me in the face and we lose. But this time, luckily, we turn it into a win. <laughs> Even the little piranha plant card is laughing about it. That's so cool. All right, 15 points for us. Three more tracks to go. I hope we can make it through. Shy Guy Beach is our next one. This one feels like it's doable, but there's so many obstacles. The crabs can really get in your way here that I'm definitely a bit concerned about it. But we're starting in the lead. There are ways to make this work. We just gotta try. All right. And we're off. So. We'll drift through here. Got it, it is mirrored, so I gotta keep that in mind as well. But I might as well jump like that. Oh, okay, I was about to hold the red shell out too. <laughs> Should have done it a moment sooner. There's really not much room for error whatsoever at this point. I could use the red shell or I could just hold it out for protection. I'm going to opt for the ladder for a bit and then throw it because power block's coming. Unfortunately, because of the angling, it doesn't actually go for anybody, but it could've. And speaking of red shell, somehow they find one that hits me. <laughs> We're back into fifth now, but I just need to keep going. If I can find a way to get first, please. All right. This is not so good, but luckily the good thing about it is that I can zoom through. No, I could have really used that blue shell. That's unfortunate. Okay, I get triple mushroom. I use one of them to go straight into a green shell. Wow. All right, come on, come on. I'm going to grab this one right here. Keep moving, King Boo. And I got this red shell. I definitely want to try to save it for now. Actually, I don't know if I do, because I'm gonna get hit by something, you know? Inevitably, if I could just Chuck it at Bowser Jr. over here. You get back here, buddy. Now I got our green shell. Drifting through this part decently well. We're just barreling forward with the super heavy cart. Wasn't so bad. I got this mushroom. I should probably just use it right here. Got it, got it, got it. We're in first place. Can I keep it, can I keep it? I don't know. It looks like I can two wins in a row. It was a close one for sure, but we find our way through. That is 30 points in total, two more races left. Can we do it? I sure hope so. Delfino Square, our third race of the Mirror Banana Cup. This can be a fun one for sure, but it can also be just a really crazy one. We're starting in the front again. But I think we can make this one work out of all three courses that we've raced on so far. I feel like this one I might be the most confident in. Not just my familiarity with the course, but like my current setup with it. I say as I sell, somehow, I feel like I'm the heaviest possible combo right now or something. <laughs> and we still just get pushed off into the wall so often. I'm back in 12. See, this game has this thing where if I exude any amount of positivity, <laughs> it wants to just squish me into dust, but I'm refusing to let it do that. We push through no matter what. I do get myself a triple mushroom, which could definitely be used for the really cool shortcut here. Unfortunately, it's a very cool, but very awkward shortcut, so I don't get too far with it. It's still a couple placements game. Use the pal block sooner rather than later, because it only affects, I think, the players in front of me. All right, I continue drifting. Got it. Okay. Oh man. 
Oh, darn. Okay, well, that wasn't so good. Please don't, oh no, you get back here. Thank you, yeah, it's all yours. Unfortunately, I had to lose so much speed with that. I wonder if it was worth it. Maybe I should've just taken it. I don't know, I'm starting to catch up to him already, so it probably wasn't. Uh, I get another mushroom. Should I try it with the shortcut again? I think I do. I think I do try it with the shortcut again. So if I hit just the right angle, ooh, that was much smoother. Unfortunately, Peach takes the only item I was on in the in the correct path for, but overall, it could have been good. They're so good at that. They're so good at nailing me with every single item. But we're in fourth place as we head into this last lap. I think there's a chance we could take a victory here. We're catching up the Bowser Jr. over this way. Getting a good drift, just like that. Come on, how did you hit both of them? You're such a little guy. Come on, you can't. I mean, it's very in character out of anyone for Bowser Jr. to do that, but it just feels unfair. I'm, I'm just trying my best here. And somehow they steal every item in front of me. I'm back into seventh. We had this moment where it just felt like there was like a glimmer of light. They're trying to take it away from us. Another blue shell coming out though, and it's right into my face. Come on. Uh, Out of the way, please. Out of the way. Back to first. Use the other mushroom. Get an item to protect me. Triple banana is a perfect item for that exact idea. If I didn't land in the grass. Come on. Let's get a good drift right here. Put down some bananas, put down some bananas. We did it, we won! All right, that's three wins in a row. One more left to go, can we do it? I sure hope so. Oh man, that was so scary. But it worked out for us in the end. It was just so much, just so much craziness. All right, Waluigi Stadium is our next one. And our last one, technically. So let's go for it. We got Waluigi Stadium, King Boo, PD Piranha Kart. This is just a whole double dash combo. Let's get moving. And you would think a track like this out of everything we've raced today, you would think this one might work out for me for it being sort of like a more heavyweight focused track. But you would think wrong. You would be entirely wrong. I don't know what's going on anymore. Where am I? Waluigi Stadium, apparently. That's what the sign says. All right, we, we get Golden Mushroom here. I'm boosting through. We're actually skipping through a lot of the competition with that one, so that's great. But hey, they heard that, and they, they're not happy about it. They're like, get back here, King Boo. You aren't getting away from us that easy, huh? All right, well, I got an item and then immediately taken away. But so it's the same thing with everyone else. I can't complain too much here. It happened to everybody, right? We're back in fifth as we enter the second lap. That's a lot better than how things were in the beginning of the first lap. We got a banana. And fifth place, that is a little, like, really. But, you know, I'll make the most out of it. Oh, if you thought we were big before, just wait a moment, now we're huge. Definitely gonna use that to cut this corner. I mean, maybe I should have tried to grab an item. But I can grab one right up here. We're in second place now, which is fantastic. I wanna just keep going. Chilling out up this way. There we go, just avoiding all the nonsense down that way feels like a great opportunity. Putting the banana down. Ooh, I dodged a pal block with that jump. I couldn't even see the pal block because of the blooper. That was just pure luck. So something's turning out our way here. Ow, okay, not so good, not so good. Do a big trick. Throwing that back, and then we are just getting another one. I didn't mean to throw that one. Oh, uh, pretty good drift there though. Got it gonna get through this as much as I can. The red shell originally, I wasn't concerned about until the, the thing that helped me not stay concerned got eviscerated by lightning. Okay, triple bananas, not so bad. I'm catching up to this little Koopa. The blue shell is gonna finish you off actually, so I can just jump away from you, just like that, and then we go, 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 and then I jump again. Nice, I actually got the trick for it this time too. Come on, we're building up a bit of a lead even. It's fantastic. Uh-oh, that turn, not ideal. 
Not ideal turn, but it's okay. Because we're coming up on the end of it right here. Put the mushroom, or not the mushroom, the banana right there. Nobody hit it, but it doesn't matter because we won four wins in a row with King Boo on this cup. I can't believe it. 60 points with our name on it. We did it. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I didn't think it was possible to do it on the first try, but we found a way through, and now we get to enjoy the victory celebration. Who were our main competition there? I guess it was Baby Peach and Daisy. Really trying to catch up to us, but stand aside, princesses. It's time for King Boo to enjoy some limelight. I guess it's still technically royalty, though. It's all on, uh, on the same theme here. We all have crowns. All right, well that was still a lot of fun, even if it was so stressful. Sometimes I, I sound really stressed out, it's because I am, but not, either way, we're still having a blast. I'm still really enjoying it. It's still Mario Kart action. But, as you can see, we get first place in the Banana Cup for Mirror Mode, and we don't. What? But we got first place every time. No! How? I don't know what I'm seeing right now. Oh no, we unlocked the mirror leaf cup, that's great. But I thought I had made it out. It turns out I am the fool. I guess I gotta replay this one, that's fine. I'll do it super quick and then we'll be back. I might even just play it as like a different character, I don't know. I'll try with King Boo again, but I might just try get the basic cart to see if I can't just do a little bit better. Okay, so I had the race in as Mario to actually get this, but I was able to get the star. I'm pretty happy with that. A star ranking is a star ranking, no matter who we get it as. I try my best to be good at heavyweight characters, but they're just not for me. Either way, we showcased the character. We won the cup with the character. I think we should have gotten the star the first time, but we did what we needed to do and we got it done, which means we only have two cups left that we will tackle in the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.